Oh, let's see here. Let's take a look at this work. Brackets done. All the good stuff. Oh, I don't want you seeing my picks. My picks are precious. My picks are my picks. Oh, yeah. Hello, folks. Welcome back. For I am the one, the only. I am a hobo Tom. Let's see here. I think I have some shout outs to give. Dan Blaze, you're already in the Daytona Beach Bump Fight League. You don't get anything else. You might get a title shot eventually. I don't know. Violent by Design. Is that it? I really just have two pages? That's good. Oh, um. Cumin Raider. You know what, sir? You just told. You're Cumin. Because you told Nikki Cross to take it all off. And see Starfish 4. Ah, oh, sir. You know that Jordan has back. Oh my god. Becky, look at her butt. Wow. I like big butts and I cannot lie. That's good. Yep, so those are my thank yous. Again, if you want to be like Dan Blaze, get yourself in the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. Find me a lot. And if I actually remember your name, that means... You're talking to me a lot. Yeah. Um, to be like Cumin Raider or Sea Starfish 4, find me over in the Discord over at Big TV. I'm there whenever I can to watch wrestling. Yeah, and look for the one, the only Hobo Tom. And I screwed it up, so I'd have put a one after my name, but that's okay. Hobo Tom 1, I'll be there. Um, find something, chat with me, interact with me. Again, likes, like, subscribe. Those are other quick ways to get that. Uh, send me an email. Every so often I do check my emails. Most of the time I, I used to check them when I live streamed. But I haven't live streamed in a while. I still have... Oh, shoot. Like 20 more days left on my YouTube suspension. If that's okay, I'm here to talk about some Impact Wrestling. Oh, April 23rd. April 23rd is the next show. I will be done. And I have learned my lesson. Or did I? Yeah, I learned my lesson. I won't be doing any stupid stuff anymore. Um, I don't think anything else is happening. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll get that later. Because I have to hobo in, like, a little bit. I saw piles of aluminum out there today. I need to make some money, folks. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about Impact Wrestling, what happened last week. And I'll get to what I'm doing this week, eventually, when my camera fixes itself. Yeah. Uh, we had Josh Alexander came out to give a promo, Honor and Emotion to beat him up. Uh, of course, the people from Impact, the uh, Impact Home Squad showed up. And Scott Tamora. Oh, I forgot any. I'll give, I'll give you credit after this. Scott Tamora came out and said, you know what? We're going to have a whole bunch of matches with you, you bunch of scumbags. So, yeah. Um, Onryu, I think I got that name right. You, you sir, one by six count.
wait a second, what's this? Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, so our first match of the night. It was Willie Mack versus... Who was this again? Kenny King. Oh yeah, that's right, Kenny King. Gee, I just lost it there for a second. Um, big corner elbows by King. They start off tie up. Tie up. Or Kenny King, part of Honor No More, that dastardly group. And power is Willie Mack into the corner. Some big elbows there. Mack, he has his ups. He has such a big drop kick. That was amazing. Uh, and it slaps. Ouch. And a cutter. Uh, Willie Mack's so good. I feel so bad that Lucha Underground no more. He was so good in Lucha Underground. I miss Lucha Underground. Again, if you miss Lucha Underground, send me a comment. Say, I miss Lucha Underground too. Uh, Mack, again, he, he, missed, he missed the moonsault. That was not good. They wrestled a little bit more. Then Mac eventually hits a six-star frog splash. Willie Mac defeats Kenny King. Kind of the way it should have gone. I'll tell you what. Impact is known for putting on decent matches. And not doing anything absurdly crazy. But you know what? This is a good solid cheeseburger match. Then we had a moose promo for these moose from Moose Nation. Because he's moose. He's always good. Moose is so good. I'm so happy he's a champion here at Impact. Or there at, or there at Impact. Moose is not a part of the Daytona Beach Bomb Fight League. I don't think I could afford him anyway. Uh, then we had John... Skyler versus Crazy C versus Ace Austin. Whoever wins this, I think this is a qualifier for the Ultimate X match for the April 23rd. Oh, yeah, April 23rd pay per view. And I'll be able to at least live stream, show you my reactions, maybe show you a little bit of the matches. Teeny tiny bit. I think, what did I do with that? Yeah, they got me last time because I think I, yeah, I, they're getting better and better software. Shoot. But that's okay. Um, this was fun. Uh, for the most part, the uh, Ace Austin tried to talk John Schuyler into tag teaming him. Crazy Steve. Crazy Steve, uh, he's just Crazy Steve. He just likes to headbutt everyone. <laughs> he just he's just crazy crazy Steve does get overzealous gets try to go up top that was the end of that uh, he did the next he, he did hit a neck snap eventually that was great to see man man Fulton pulls out ace Austin so he can't get pinned Skyler got shoved into ace then crazy Steve just starts biting people again very typical crazy Steve match ace Austin eventually had a top rope fold which looks good Solid match again. Impact's weird. They're sometimes on a pay per view they have really good matches. Rarely on TV do they have great matches. But it was a solid cheeseburger match. Then Larry D came out. Larry D lost weight. Larry D lost weight. So can you. And well, so can I. So yeah. Uh, and then there's the two Indian guys who are not part of the Desi Hit Squad. They get into an argument. I have no idea what that's about, though. And those are violent by design. They're happy with the belt. It's so good to see Eric Young with the belt. Eric Young has not held more, more belts in Impact than he ever did in NXT or WWE. That's terrible. Then we had, a, then we had an eight-woman orgy. I mean, an eight-women tag match. We had the influence of Tasha Seals and Savannah Evans taking on the inspiration. 
suppose. Uh, Chelsea Green and oh, one day something's really going to slip out. Mickey James. Hardcore Mickey. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Billy K. <laughs> Billy K gets beat up. I felt so bad for her. Even though I don't think Casey you didn't get a lot of in-ring action. Probably because of all the beatings she took. Yeah, she got beat up a lot. I think the last show, and I think during the tag team match, she just might have been tired. Uh, but Billy Kay got, got beat up in the heel corner. Very typical. And then she had such a terrible jawbreaker. Like, it was obvious. Like, Savannah Evans, I don't even think her face was by, her, by the type of her head. It looked terrible. It's like, why'd she go down on her knees? Oh, normally I should never say that about any other woman. It's like, why'd she go down on her knees? But yeah, this is a wrestling match. Take this in proper context, folks. Yeah, um... Evans hit a nice big Simone drop. Uh, Teal Dashwood came in for a suplex. Then there was, of course, a double noggin knocker with the influence when Cassie Lee came in. Uh, Chelsea Green was there. Mickey James had the seated senton. I want Mickey James to do the seated senton to my face. Maybe. You didn't hear me say that, folks. Yeah. Um, Caleb with a K gets involved. <laughs> Cassie Lee just straight up kicked him right in the nuts. Ouch. Poor Caleb with a K. Mickey James hits the Mick DT. Inspiration, the inspiration. Chelsea Green and Mickey James win. This was an okay match. Um, probably the low, low point of this. It was a ham sandwich. There were a lot of lengthy promos on this. Now that I'm looking back, normally they had like four, five matches. I think they only had like four. Um, they did have a very lengthy main event, though. So, maybe that's why. Uh, Jonah came out, did a promo, said, yeah, I beat PCO, the, the Canadian Frankenstein, the guy who said no one could beat, yeah, I beat him. Then, of course, it's that time again, folks. You know what time it is. It's time for me to rearrange stuff. And time for me, you know, my technical editor right now is asleep. I'm taking a nap, I think, when I... Because I have to close that up soon anyway. I need to do my laundry. That steam goes right in there and turns that thing into a sauna. Um, more station on trains. Whoa. I'm going to ask about that later. Nikki Bella. Yeah, Nikki Bella should be dead a while ago. But let's see here. So there's only one thing that I will ever pull up. Let's see here. Because, wait a second, the greatest faction gang in warfare came out. And you know, it's the one oh. and only Bullet Club. So they're too sweet for life. God, I got a human. I think I'm on the run now. And I don't know. My computer's been acting up. Especially YouTube. So that was close enough. You heard really what you needed to hear. But I do want to see this thing about Moss Station on trains. In Japan. That just... Again, sounds totally foreign to me. Because on subways... Yeah, that doesn't happen. There's rust out there. There we go. There's me back. So we have the Bullet Club promo. Again, calls out Al Shelley. Motor City. And then Chris Saban came out. So we have the reunification of the Motor City Machine Guns, baby. Yes. Motor City Machine Guns versus Bullet Club. That's going to be good. Uh, then there was a backstage promo with Lady Frost. 
Yana Parasa and Gazelle Shaw. Eventually, this is going to lead to a champ champ uh, belt belt match, I guess. Where Deanna Prost is going to put boat her triple A belt. And I guess Ring of Honor belt on the line. Who knows. Then we have Rich Swan in the main event. We have Rich Swan versus Eddie Edwards. Oh, this is pretty good. Something was not over. Oh, yeah. Rich Swan doesn't even wait. He just jumps Eddie Edwards. And Maria Canales was on commentary. Even though I don't want Maria Canellis on commentary, honestly, Maria Canellis is ass. Her booty, very large booty that it is. But yeah, happy enough to hear Maria Canellis' voice though. It's a nice little change. Um, Eddie, again, he works over Swan a little bit. Maria just heals it up on the mic. She she's actually pretty funny talking talking wise. I I can see a lot of that happening. <sighs> then they trade blows on the apron. I was wondering, like, wait a second. Rich the Hurricane on the apron to the floor. That's always impressive looking. Even better looking than a Poison Rana. Poison Rana is just like, ouch. Hurricane to the floor. At least you can land a little bit. Uh, back in the ring, Eddie Edwards had a backpack stunner and then a single leg crab. They trade kicks. Well, they kicked each other in the head. He, uh, Eddie Edwards hit a blue thunder bomb, but he has to know that the blue thunder bomb has never, ever pinned anyone. And he eventually has a tiger bomb. It's not a tiger driver. Tiger driver, you go down. Yeah, tiger bomb is different. Uh, Swan had a couple of moves then himself. Eddie Edwards hit did actually hit the boss and knee party. Um, and the diehard driver. Eddie Edwards wins. Again, solid cheeseburger match. And then of course, you have the beatdown of Rich Swan, as always happens because it's just gang warfare there in Impact Wrestling. But yeah. So again, that was a pretty fun show of Impact again. Very typical cheeseburger show. Now, this week's kind of going to be like last week, whereas because I'm working so much, I work... It's Sunday. I know this video is coming out late. But yeah, I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I might even work Saturday. Nothing Saturday, so that's okay. Uh, I think they already had the WWE pay-per-view already. That was the second. Yeah. <laughs> No, it was the sixth. What am I talking about? Yeah, um. But this week, for sure, Tuesday, Thursday, and probably Friday, I'll be doing the shows. Um, eventually, sometime this week, I don't even know when anymore. Probably Wednesday. So I just have to make it, and I do have to. I do have to see if I can get that shirt anyway. Wednesday. Oh, it's the sixteenth. I can get. That makes sense then. Um, probably by Wednesday or Thursday, I'll show you what Bike Week looked like here for this guy, Hobo Tom, because it was both at the races and actually walking through the one more civilized event. Because God knows, I am not going to Main Street, and you'd have to drag my cold dead corpse to the Cabbage Patch or the Boot Hill Saloon to deal with those idiot. Fake Harley Davidson riding bikers, anyway. Ooh, that seemed harsh. Yeah. So, again, probably three shows this week. It just has to deal with work schedules and the timing of stuff. We'll see how that goes. But, again, yeah, I'm tired because, again, yesterday I worked, I think, I worked 6 20 a.m. It's about 6 40 p.m. Yeah, I'm not getting paid for it though. Love it, love that the most. Um, again, I have to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll try to be more timely. I cannot guarantee anything though. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.